So what we're showing today is uh, our vision for what the future of the Ubuntu desktop and phone and tablet will become uh, in, in a year's time or so. And this is the convergence of the desktop, the phone, the tablet, all into a single device, which will act as the, uh, the most appropriate interface for that device. And then when you connect peripherals to it, it will form uh, the, the, the desktop or the, um, the tablet and uh, various devices accordingly. So first of all, we've got running on x86. Uh, it looks like an Ubuntu tablet. We've got our apps running here. We've also got all of our scopes. So the, the idea with scopes is that it allows you to aggregate content together into a single screen and makes it much easier to find the information that you're looking for. So the Today Scope uh, pulls in your calendar, the weather from where you are, the news headlines, things that are trending on Twitter. So this is a, a place to, to view all of the information about uh, what's going on in the world today, which you're interested in, in one place. You don't have to launch lots of different applications to find out. Now, writing a scope is extremely easy. Um, we've got uh, lots of pre-built ones uh, and people are writing new scopes all the time. So here we've got a photo scope which has pulled in local content, photos from Instagram, uh, from Facebook, all in one place. So I haven't had to load those applications separately. Um, so if we come back to our, our app scope for example, we'll see these are the applications we've got installed. We've got applications from the tablet, and we've also got some applications which would be considered to be traditionally desktop applications, and they're installed on here as well. Uh, and we can like, launch those, and uh, I'll show you what it looks like. Over on the right-hand edge, this is how you switch between running applications. We've got a few things running here. Now I'm going to load up LibreOffice Calc, which is a, an open source spreadsheet application. And I can use this with my, uh, with my finger as a touch application. So you can see that uh, I can come in and find a document, here's a spreadsheet, I'll open this up, and I can review documents in tablet mode along with all of the other applications that are running on my tablet at the moment. But really, to, to use a, an application like a spreadsheet uh, the best that you can, it would be better if it was a desktop mode and you could use a keyboard and a mouse. So what we've got here is uh, a Bluetooth, uh, sorry, a, a USB connected keyboard, but it would work equally well with a Bluetooth mouse or keyboard. And as soon as I connect this device, you can see that the, the interface has switched into desktop mode. So now all the applications that I had open are all running as individual windows, and I can minimize these, I can close them. And then I've got the launcher on the right hand side, which is exactly the same as the uh, Ubuntu desktop that people use today. And now I can come in here, select my data, I can type in some new numbers in here. Oops. So I can actually do real work on my tablet. Um, and then it gets to the end of the day, I've, I've finished, finished at work and I want to go home on the train and perhaps I want to watch a movie or look at some photos. I just unconnect my tablet or my PC and it turns back into a tablet. So now here we are, all the applications have turned back into tablet applications. I can use them as I would on my tablet. Uh, and then when I get home, then I could connect it to my big screen and I could watch movies on Netflix and uh, look, listen to music and all that kind of stuff. So that's, that's it running on x86. We also have a Nexus 7 device here, which is an ARM device. And this works in exactly the same way. So we're not, uh, we're not constrained to x86 or ARM, we can use either. So this one's already been paired with a Bluetooth keyboard. So I'll type my password in uh, and I've unlocked. And you'll see straight away this looks exactly the same as it did on the bigger device. It's the same software that's running. It works in exactly the same way. And we also have applications from the desktop on here as well. So here's our spreadsheet application again. So that will load up and I can get into my spreadsheets and I can open them again. Whoops. So again, we can see while it does work with a touch screen, it would be much more, uh, much easier and much quicker to work with a mouse. So we've got a Bluetooth mouse here, uh, which I'll switch on. It will then connect to the tablet and the tablet will, has been told, when you see a mouse, convert into desktop mode. And that's what's happened now. So now I can pick up my mouse and all my apps have, running apps have turned into Windows. I can move those out the way. I can get my spreadsheet. Let's maximize that. 
just takes a few seconds, and now I can start working on this spreadsheet as well. And so this, we, we see this as a, a truly convergent device. We've got convergence of applications, we've got convergence of user interface, and we've got convergence of function as well. So this is not only a tablet, it's also a desktop PC. And then when I've done for the day, I can switch off my mouse, and it will automatically convert back into tablet mode with my application still running, and I can pop it in my pocket uh, and get on the train and go home.